Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will show you how to remove and replace a fender on a BMW 5 Series that should be from 2003 all the way until 2009. Uh, you cover the models E60 and E65. Okay, you can see what we have here. And we will need to remove that fender. You need to be replaced, so we will show you how to remove it. And uh, installation will be exactly the same way. We take it apart. Uh, we will need to jack the car up because probably we will need to take the tire off we'll see we might not but we, we might have to because some clips could be pretty pretty rusted there so we're gonna take the tire off now the wheel okay right there we took the tire off it's possible to do it without taking the tire off but it's easier it probably even will be quicker so we have a few clips that we need to push the inner piece in and those sometimes you have to replace them with new one because it's almost impossible okay to find the inner piece let's see we'll, we'll take this one out I think maybe maybe not those are really pain in the butt to be honest with you so one of them already broke, this piece went in. Okay, you can hear the pieces popping out. Now the clip will come out. Okay, I like that. And they should be in the fender. So when we remove the fender, we might be able to find them. Next with eight millimeter, we need to remove two screws. Okay, that hold the fender liner there. So we can pull it to the side now. And one of our black things just came off. Okay, another one right there. The best way to remove that actually guys will be to remove the side skirt, but you can just pull it to the side like we did. We'll have to get it in later because that fender is crumbled now really bad. And inside right here, there is a bolt okay this bolt right here that we'll need to remove and there is one more after that well let's show you the other one ours is broken actually okay it's the one let me see if i can the one down there this one as well so we need to remove those two with 10 millimeter socket now all we have to do actually just uh, loosen that one you don't even have to remove it all the way okay it came out of there now we're gonna go ahead and remove three more screws with eight millimeter there that two of them actually that hold the fender liner there we want to see what else is attached to the fender and we have that 10 millimeter here for the bumper And those sometimes tend to grow pretty bad guys, so... Okay, that's what it looks like, just a regular screw. Now we will need to remove a couple more there. So we can pull it to the side if we can find our socket. I'm losing the tools today is not the day. Then you can guys just pull the fender liner to the side like that and from our head probably not able to see anything and right there we have two more bolts with the 10 millimeter that we need to remove actually it's pretty long screws okay like that we got those out and now we need to open the hood and we'll have a few more there with a 10. Okay, right there. We'll get to those in a little bit. Now we have one inside the door here. And stay with us to show you which one actually broke for us. 
because it's hard to show you the way it's crumbled now. Okay, we have these two to remove now. Next, in the corner, right there, we need to remove that plastic knife here. That's holding. Here, we most likely have a bolt underneath this one there. And we have one bolt right here with the ten again. If we can get to it somehow. Okay, removing it out of there now. You just need to loosen it now. Those there is a couple of clips that you need to pull out here and. This piece will come out and underneath you need to get one more loose. This don't take it off all the way. This one you can just get it loose a little bit. The fender should slide out. And we have this three now to remove here. You see how that's going to be. Like that and now we need to find out we need to remove the wire here always popped out otherwise you get it from the back in and let's see if we have anything else holding now because it's still not coming out quite well And that's why it's good guys to watch the video until the end, we missed two more, right there. Okay. One is out, one more, because it's still holding there. Opa, and it came out. Now we need to mess around the sides first, we don't need to remove the whole thing. And the fender is out guys. Okay, that's the broken bow that I was talking about. Ours is broken so we didn't have to remove it. That's where it was supposed to be. Uh, but that will be a whole procedure guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.